Hi guys, Zach here with another Command & Conquer Red Alert video. In this game I'm playing a 4v4 match on the map Super All Garden. I'm starting in the top position playing as the Soviets. So this was one of those games where we had random teams and random positions. And Super All Garden is like quite a good map to do this on because everyone tries to go towards the middle. And you can see I've, as soon as I started this game I moved my MCV towards the middle and that's because a lot of the ore is in the middle and it's very awkward if you try to play the game on the outside. Now I've probably misjudged this maybe, actually no I'm in a decent position actually because I'm ne I can e my auto truck's going to easily be able to get to that or patch to the right of me but yeah sometimes it's quite hard to judge where your mc where you should get your mcv to and sometimes you can get be in a bit of a tricky position you can see my allies either side of me which has put me in a really good position uh, in terms of i'm good that or truck refinery is hopefully going to be safe i'm just building the north silo and i'm going to start building my war factories where you can see orange coming through there phototonics with some grenadiers he likes to do his early infantry pressure and uh, and he's also got some benefit because he sort of delayed my first war factory production because uh, I was a bit focused on defending but since there's two of us both me and pink we've been able to defend this and now we're going to push forwards a little bit hopefully yeah because you can see he's already got three infantry and he might have to produce some more. You can see green coming in with some infantry as well. But we've been able to take them out. And now, I guess it's just a case of defending. And now I've got my war factory out. And I'm going to produce two ore trucks. I'm going to be a, a bit greedy with the ore. Because I'm in like that safer position. And that'll mean I'll be able more help up to my teammates later on. And you can see Pink going down now with those infantry. And he's going on the attack. Uh, you can see Orange trying to bring those infantry down. And we'll have to see what goes on here he's sort of like put it got into phototonic space a little bit and i'm also in the back there uh, just doing some damage and this is going to cause phototonics a little bit of hassle and you see that all trucks like sort of in a like a bit of an awkward position uh, where it's mining compared to the, like the orientation of the like all refinery so phototonics could have probably got a bit of better position on his uh on his ore refinery especially where he's collecting ore from you can see it's going like sort of like behind the ore refinery and now he's lost an ore refinery because pink has attacked him with some infantry and now i'm able to get these tanks out and we can see green coming back with some tanks as well uh, but yeah now orange going to pink space and we'll be able to defend against this because we've got some heavy tanks of our own what's he going to go for it looks like he's going to go for the pink um ore trucks but we're going to try and help defend here and like he's just bringing i think everything he's got at the moment and now we've placed another ore refinery and you can see green having a bit of an army as well he's got a lot of infantry there and pink pink saw truck managed to just squash a lot of those infantry and um, so that was a bit of a good kill there i don't think he meant to do it but uh, it had the same effect and now we're going to go back for photo dog space before it gets a chance to recover and now we're going to be able to get the hit on that ore refinery if we, if we can get that ore refinery down that's going to be big because I think he's... Yeah, his ore truck's still moving. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's got another ore refinery. And Photonics is out of the game. So uh, we're going to have a look at what happened at the other side of the map while this was going on. We can see that Kobe has placed his construction yard quite far from the centre. So the only problem with that is when he builds towards the centre, his ore refinery is going to be a longer, long way from the ore. But what it does also mean, though, is this ore refinery isn't going to be exposed as much. Um, but it's just going to take longer to get uh, funds. And we can see that Pillbox has done the opposite. He's actually gone very close to the centre. So, I'd, yeah, he's probably gone a bit too close, I think. Because, uh, yeah, you can see he's built his barracks on one side and his power plant on the other. So he's probably went a bit closer. And... He's been a bit squashed there, uh, so he could have deployed his MCV a little bit earlier and saved a little bit of time. But now it's Pillbox and Commie against Nose and Henfer. Henfer playing as blue and Nose playing as red. 
and we'll have to see how this goes. We can see, I'll look at it from their view now. And as we're seeing, infantry do play a big role at the start of the game on this map because like all the teams sort of coming together in the middle. And let's see what's going on here. We can see that Cyan is building a power plant, it looks like, and he's sort of like expanding towards Nose's base. So what is his plan to do? And Nose has built a flamethrower. So that's uh, made Pillbox have to like retreat back and Kami also bringing some infantry in but if he gets too close he's going to lose to those flamethrowers so Nose starting to push back now he's sort of got a flame tower crawl going and that's also going to affect the Orchuk for Kami but now Pillbox now building turrets and those turrets now firing on those flame towers and turrets are actually very effective against flame towers you can see they're getting destroyed quite a bit but red coming in with infantry but he's got a pillbox and that's managed to take out some of red's troops and that's put pillbox a bit of time now henfer our team coming in with the light tank and some infantry uh, kind of take down some of those turrets but pillbox building another turret and yeah that turret is going up and i'm probably calling camo actually because uh he's built it's a bit confusing i'm calling him pillbox and he's building turrets so camo now building another turret and he's just crawling them further and further towards nose's base and now he's got the aura fire in his sights and that turret just doing some damage and yeah uh, Kami as well going with the heavy tank as well on that oil fiery and it looks like the oil fiery might go down and it does and this is a very hard position for P nose because camo is building these turrets and these turrets do quite well against tanks and on a map like this where it's like very 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 narrow they do a really good amount of damage it's very hard to like move your tanks around and camo just building more and more, and more turrets and closer and closer and further and further into his base and now Kami going for the infantry attack from the rear is he going to be able to take out that war factory it looks like he is and the flame tower is not in range and yeah it looks like that war factory might go down and it does um now henfer building another war factory so it's going to have increased tank building speed but his tank attacks so far are useless he's just bringing in one at a time and they're just getting torn apart by those turrets and sometimes i think of turrets as like just stationary tanks basically tanks that you can't move around uh, but they do decent damage and those turrets just they're sort of like defending Cummings base so you can just stream tanks in and all the tank battles like Cummings winning because those turrets are just doing so much damage and now they've defeated Nose and Henfer looks like he's in trouble now because they're going for his first war factory uh, he's got two war factories so he'll still have another one after this but Kami just going in and P Camo just continuing the base crawl with base defences and you can see those tank numbers of Kami is starting to build up and now he's taken out the other war factory that means Henfer for the time being doesn't have any war factories left and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my game view Yeah, so now uh, this was just after I defeated Phototonics and Nose was destroyed shortly after. And what I've done is I'm just providing it like another, building another two ore trucks. I've built like a third war factory and now I'm going for Green's base. Because uh, we've got Green here um, and we're going in right now and you can see Green with a heavy tank there. And yeah, as we go further in. And now this is where our teammate says help. The thing is, we're in green space and we need to take out enough structures. So we see two war factories. We take them out. One war factory, second war factory going down. And now we're going for the construction yard. And as soon as that's down, we're going to go and help our teammates. We just need to take out those buildings. Otherwise, we could get a tank attack from the rear. And now I'm going to build a Tesla coil. You can see pink coming in to help now. Uh, but there's just a lot of uh, purple tanks there and they're doing quite a bit of damage but now I'm starting to get my tanks in and we can see the base crawl going on from Cyan even further into our base and now, but we're getting our tanks in now and these tanks are going to do a lot of damage against those pillboxes because pillboxes are not the best against tanks they're good against infantry but against heavy tanks they don't do much damage and now Kami coming in with his heavy tanks but those tank numbers have now started to fall and 
we're starting to push them back and we've got three war faction production although it's not as efficient as it could be because you can see i am like struggling for all and now we're going for those power plants there's a lot of turrets there but these heavy tanks are very durable and we've got them on mass and we're starting to be able to push back now the question is does he have enough base defenses to defend and is Kami going to be able to use his heavy tanks to uh, push us back and now i'm getting a, i've got a tesla coil now available so i'm going to put that there and um, just to help defend uh, well henry's already got like a barracks left i guess now and uh, an oil refinery uh, but we'll just like help defend our base as well and now we're just pushing them back you can see these base defenses probably aren't enough but my tank numbers are starting to fall a little bit but I'm all, i've also got good like a good economy behind me at the moment and it's quite hard to know how this fight's going to turn out because it's quite unusual to fight against like a, pill, a turret crawl and heavy tanks at the same time and now the infantry are coming in but we're going to be able to squash them with our heavy tanks and it looks like we've been able to break into the base and yeah but my tank numbers aren't great actually but uh we'll start we'll hopefully be, get, be able to get some reinforcements in and uh, you can see that purple tank uh, coming in a couple of purple tanks i do have the tank advantage but we've still got like some base defenses uh, fighting against us but once we're in this position it's going to be very hard for like purple to get any economy going and yeah i'm just gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and expand my economy uh, while i fight this battle here and yeah, we've been able to take out these turrets, although our forces are quite low down now. Um, hopefully Pink are going to be able to put, come in and provide us with some support. We've been able to take out that turret out. We're going to go for that power plant. We're going to go for the ore refinery as well. And it looks like Pillbox has ran out of uh, ran out of steam now. Yeah, he hasn't. The thing is, he hasn't got like multiple MCVs, and that's the thing. When you try to do base crawls without multi MCVs, it worked really effectively, actually, surprisingly well on this map. It must be the perfect map for doing this on. But now that he's pushed right back, he isn't able to build base defenses quickly enough. Uh, you can see there, Kami trying to survive with those last few heavy tanks. And now Kami has tapped out of the game, he's had enough, he knows it's good game. And I did ask, ask Pillbox after this game whether he was trying to do a troll challenge and he did say yes, he was uh, trying to do the no tanks challenge against us. However, it didn't quite work in this match. Although it, it was quite impressive though that he did manage to take out Nose and yeah, Kami and him were doing well against Nose and Henfer. So it was sort of like actually quite an effective strategy, strangely enough. And I think it's partly to do with the way this map spread out. It's like a bit narrow, narrow gaps. So it, it wasn't like the other team could like sort of like go around the defences. Although they could have gone around the back, but it would have been quite hard. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.